Okay. Ups. Hello. So, my uh, first video with voice. Um, this is the bit of plastic. So what I'm working on right now is transforming a phone, a old rotary phone, into something, into a SIP phone. Basically something that works with a SIP protocol um, over Wi-Fi. Uh, using a Raspberry Pi, the phone. I'm gonna go into more details a bit later. Um, what I'm trying to do now is this bit of plastic that I've just 3D printed um, and onto which the Raspberry Pi is going to fix. This will go here so that it holds the Raspberry Pi in place. I need to update the, the power. So normally the Raspberry Pi um, uses a USB uh, micro. The problem is um, if I put it here, there won't be enough enough room in the inside the phone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these two test points or um, to connect the power cable, um, which again, as you can see, the power cable is the old wall cable that I've updated. I've replaced. The, show you uh, this the old style RJ whatever I don't know if it's an RJ actually anyhow cut this and replace it with the USB A like this There's a problem actually. Um, the initial plan was to use this long wire, five volts into the Raspberry Pi and then a step down, sorry, uh, uh, sorry a step up, a boost converter, converter for 12 volts for the bells. However, the problem is the Raspberry Pi starts and then stops, start, stop, start, stops. And checking the voltage, it's five volts and it drops below four volts. I think what happens is as the current increases, because the Raspberry Pi can use up to 2 or 2.4 amps, um, the resistance in this long 3-4 meters wire, which is around 2 ohms, uh, 2 ohms at 1 amp, that's already 2 volts drop. So as soon as the Raspberry Pi starts to use a lot of current, we lose 1 volt on the wire. So I went back and forth, should I use a short wire? Anyhow, so I went back to um, the very original idea, which was have 12 volts in this and then have a step down um, converter for the Raspberry Pi. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Okay, second attempt, um, making sure the neighbor is redoing their hard floor, hence the cutting noise I can hear. Okay, now let's attach it to the... So this is the 12 volts that goes to the motor controller. Um, this, 
which is used to uh, drive the solenoids. Okay, so I have this um, old charger uh, or wall, uh, wall plug, 12 volts, 2 amps, um, that's 24 watts, that's more than enough than the, for the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi needs 5 volts, 2.5, uh, 2.4 amps, so that's barely 12 watts, so that's double, um, and the solenoids use barely any, any current. So um, I need to replace this and connect it directly. Okay, finally. So uh, 12 volts come from here, from the wall wart. Um, this is a, I'm taking 12 volts here for the bells. This uh, steps down to 5 volts and then it goes to the raspberry. 